Hi, I'm Rich Efron, Delaware State Chamber of Commerce, Legislative Minute. Obviously, we're videoing this the Monday after the blizzard of 2016. I don't have tie on, but I can give credit to my staff. Some had problems, but they all got here. So, staff, thank you. And uh, hopefully, uh, you all had as a positive experience. Last week, the legislature passed the corporate uh, tax reduction bill that uh, allows corporations to pay on a single factor rather than the three factor, which is what 30-some uh, other states have done, which all our surrounding states have done, so we can remain competitive. And I give uh, the governor, the administration, and the members of the legislature who voted for the bill, I give them uh, credit and thank them for doing that. I think this will make Delaware uh, more competitive as we uh, move forward. This week, the, uh, the minimum wage bill which actually stretches out over seven years and gets us to two th that's fifteen dollars an hour, uh, was released from the committee in the Senate. It will go to the Senate floor on Tuesday, which is be tomorrow, and uh, it's expected that it will pass. We oppose the bill for a number of reasons. One is we don't think it's wise to set uh, policy wage policy out for seven years. You you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, and we just passed the minimum wage uh, last year. It's it's just going into place. Uh, so we're not sure that we don't think that's a wise idea, but I think the Senate will pass it. The House probably won't get to it till after the break. This is the last week of the legislature before the six-week uh, break for uh, budget and Joint Finance Committee. So we'll see what happens then. Uh, we'll remain opposed and uh, see if we can uh, get uh, the House to, uh, to either uh, Delay, delay the bill or uh, not vote on it, or maybe uh, probably, I'm, I'm assuming there'll be several several amendments. Uh, governor's speech, the governor gave state of state speech last week. Uh, there were three uh, points which, which we recognized. One is state uh, health care costs, employee health care costs will go up uh, over 50% in the next few years. The governor would like to see some adjustments to that. We supported that for quite a while. The reason we are is because all of the Major corporations and small businesses in this state have had to make adjustments to the state employee health care plans. It's not something we like doing. It's not fun to ask your employees to pay more or pay a higher deductible, but it's necessary and we'd like to see the state do the same thing. Also, we talked about DuPont employees, keeping them here, the employees who have either been uh, left their jobs or were, uh, uh, were laid off. Uh, they have special skills. We have engineers and scientists and those who support service people, the technicians and, and uh, other support service people. We like to keep them here. Uh, we're hoping that some of the engineers and the scientists have been working on special projects. Uh, if the company's not interested in them, we'll start their own spin-off companies, uh, which will employ uh, some of the people we've already. I know the governor's talked to people at other companies in the state, uh, as we have too, and uh, some of them are looking for the people with skills that the DuPont employees had. So hopefully we can keep as many of them here as, as possible. I think that's a, a, a good thing for the governor to focus on in the administration, and we will too. Uh, lastly, he talked about professional uh, license regulations. I uh, think uh, we spent a little bit too much time and waste too much energy on, on licensing some professions that uh, that actually don't need to be don't need to be licensed any longer. We agree with that. Also, we think that's important to look at that and see where we can get rid of some of the red tape and, and the bureaucracy. As I mentioned earlier, this is the last week of the legislature before the six week break. Uh, this week, the governor will present his budget. Joint Finance Committee will look at his budget over the next six weeks and come up with a proposal this spring. We'll also be in the governor's budget, and we will update you on that. That's it for this week. Uh, next week, we'll update you and let you know how the legislative session ended. Thank you for watching.